Graphing calculators are very useful for students in higher level math courses. They do many things, including finding approximate roots. Here's an example of a graphing calculator, the TI-84 Plus CE. Notice it's a handheld device with a large screen capable of showing graphs. Here we'll just look at how we find roots with one of these. This calculator does not have a designated square root button, but its square root function is a second function right above the x squared button here. To find a square root of a number using this calculator, start by clicking the second function, then the button with the square root sign on top. This is the x squared button. Next, enter the number you want to find the square root of. And finally, click the Enter button on the bottom right. Your calculator should display the answer on the screen. There's no cube root button or function on the keyboard of this calculator. So to find a cube root, use the following steps. Click the Math button right over here. The display will show a number of functions. Now press the Scroll Down button to scroll down. Stop when you reach a cube root symbol with a left bracket like this. Click the Enter button on the bottom right and the cube root symbol with the left bracket will appear on the screen. Now enter the number you want to find the cube root of. And finally click the Enter button on the bottom right again. Your answer will be displayed on the screen. To find other roots on a graphing calculator like this one, the TI-84 Plus CE, or the TI-84 Plus, click the Math button first. Then use the scrolling down button to scroll down until the Xth root sign is displayed. Then press the Enter key. Use the left scrolling key to scroll to the left of X. And enter the index of the root you want to find. If you want to find the 4th root, enter 4. If you want to find the 5th root, enter 5, etc. Then use the right scrolling button to scroll to the right under the radical sign. And enter the number you want to find the root of. Finally, press the Enter key and your answer should be displayed. Test this procedure by finding the 4th root of 81, which should be 3, and the 5th root of 32, which should be 2. If you have a graphing calculator, you should practice finding various roots using it.